I've been drinking, I've been drinking. I get so filthy when that liquor get into me. I've been thinking, I've been thinking. I want your body right here, daddy. I want you right now. Drunk in love. Oh, oh. We woke up in the kitchen saying, how the hell did this shit happen? Oh, baby. Drunk in love. We be all night. Okay, well, my name is Elise. I'm 22. I'm a trans woman, a heterosexual trans woman. Okay, um, should I take my bonnet off? What do you wanna do? Um, so they won't think I'm bald headed. Cause I actually do mess with me. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, my room is a little filthy. I'm not gonna lie, but I know where everything is. <laughs> so sometimes it's better off that way. I'm just used to living out of bags, so that's why I live out of my suitcase, really. Mm -hmm. So you know, I wash my clothes, I put them in there. I was homeless since I was 16. You know, my mom, she had put me out. You know, it's kind of um, scarred me because um. I can never seem to get comfortable. If you can live in my life, you know, you have to shave, beat your face, make sure your hair is done properly. Um, every day, go to school, moan, feed your hormones, get the money to get your hormones. It's a very difficult job. Yeah, it's a very difficult, you know, decision to make. It's, it's not an easy one. So, um, yeah, I, I'm still thinking about it to this day. I, I think I do want a vagina, but I'm, I'm going to need it to be functioning, you know? I mean, I, I know that I'll never be able to have children. Well, as of yet, because they don't have the technology. But um, the whole vagina thing, it's just, it's scary. Fish means that you're cunts. Um, and cunt means that you're over. And over means you know, you're passing pretty much, you know, you're giving every bit of what you're trying to give, you know, so my illusion is it's working. <laughs> okay. All I want to do is I want to experience, you know, like, um, like some form of normalcy. I don't want to be reminded like every day of my life that I'm a trans person. It can become, you know, very overwhelming at times. You know, as a kid, um, I was, you know, I was raped, but a lot of people feel as though, you know, that has caused me to become trans. No, I was born this way. Oh, no, I don't even let men see me do this. <laughs> so, yeah. My money has gone towards like um, hormones, expensive hormones. Um, you know, sometimes if you want the good stuff, you have to go to the street. This is what my hormone blocker looks like. This blocks the testosterone. And these are 100 milligrams. So I take 200 milligrams of these um, every day. And I take them every day of my life. So we're going to be putting on Minaj. And it's like, every female that has ever been close to me is sort of like, you know, drifted away from me. And it's like, the men are now sort of, you know, close to me. I've come too far to turn back now. And I wouldn't change it for anything. 
because it's made me a better person and I'm stronger, I'm wiser, and I'm free. <laughs> Some guys just enjoy, you know, what we do. Um, like, I don't know if I can say this on camera, but then I can suck a dick up to La Hicka. <clears throat> Why can't you just get a job and, you know, work like everyone else? They didn't understand, like, the discrimination and things that I went through. At one point, do you want to come in the car with us? And you can, like, yeah, because I need some heat. You want some heat now yes. to warm up first? Okay. I feel my toes. toes. <laughs> I had to find a way to make ends meet and uh yeah she restored it to the streets this where we're going is for the the brick girls like the the less prettier girls <laughs> so if you see some big tall monsters out here <laughs> y'all you know I, I i'd be afraid you know i i understand that they're trans women but it's like mm. It's, it's it's pretty scary to see someone that tall walking in the hills they look like monsters I feel a little, you know, unattractive tonight, you know, because I haven't had my moon, so I look a little hard. But hey, that's how I'm out here trapping my life away right now, so that I can pay for that. Um, in school as well. Um, these are actually some homeless people, you know. They're pretty cool people, you know. Especially if you smoke cigarettes, <laughs> which I happen not to do. I actually had my first date back there. I was very nervous, you know, I was actually traumatized by the, the whole experience. I actually laid there and just let this man just, you know, I just laid there and just like, oh my God, I did nothing because I didn't know what to do, you know. I was inexperienced, but I was like, you know, I have to make these men love it, you know, I had to sort of trick them into like, you know, feeling as though I had feelings for them. They'll either follow you around if they want to date you. Um, you know, they'll wink at you. Some of them will honk at you. It all depends. You know, some of them will um, come beside you and slow down and, you know, try to make conversation or whatever the case may be. So there's a lot of different ways that um, people go about, you know, getting dates. The cops are over there harassing people. And I've seen a lot of people that do crazy things and the cops just like, oh, well, you know, tag with them. We don't like those trans women anyway. So they allow them to like sort of harass us. My brain is kind of like, I'm not even the same person. You know, I have to like dumb myself down. <laughs> so it's like I have to sound like a hood girl. You know, I have to like, oh, what's going on? You know, to put on that sort of front, like, I don't pay me, I'll get you. <laughs> Although I actually will get them. <laughs> so it's like, I want it to be ratchet, but you know, pretty, like a cute ratchet. This is my trap purse, you know, you got to see this too. It's a hot mess. I can't bring my nine west, my lawyer, or anything. Okay, so I have a bottle of mace, which I have used before. Okay, so you know mm. that's the taser. This is the brass knuckles, you know, flesh blade. This blade happens to be very sharp. My baby wipes, you know, to make sure that I'm I sanitize the area. You know, lotion for my dry hands. I have my disinfectant, you know, little hand sanitizer, whatever for a nasty situation. Let me show y'all some more because this one little condom ain't gonna get it for me. Okay, so I have, I'm allergic to latex. So <clears throat> these are not only latex condoms, these are um, polyurethane condoms. Water-based lube, which is, you know, as applied. <laughs> and I gotta keep my brush because I gotta make sure my hair is looking fly, okay? Because no one is gonna date a girl who looks a hot mess. Trust me, and I thought, you know, I get finished performing. I'm gonna need my pressed powder, which I have, and my lipsticks to reapply because I'm gonna have to touch up. They're, they're not gonna want, you know, a half done girl. What else am I going to do? I don't work, it's hard for me to get a job. Um, it's fast money. I have to pay for my hormonal treatment, which is very expensive. Um, and I would like to graduate to, um, you know, laser sessions. <laughs> you know, then when I get one of those, I feel like a big girl. It's forced me out to the streets, you know, to make my money. <laughs>